Rahman Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Asim. I'm working as DevOps engineer. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build the Eureka client. Although I've already shown you that if you spin the uh, client in Docker or Dockerize your Eureka client, or you can say it is a Eureka service or application, it is going to be quickly registered if I Dockerize it. So I've already shown you this uh, in my previous video, but now I'm going to show you how we can Dockerize this Eureka client. If you haven't watched my videos with regard to the quick registration of the Eureka client uh, in Docker, you can watch those videos. Uh, so now what we are going to do that we are going to build our application or you can say we are going to dockerize our application so it is going to be quickly registered with our Eureka server so let's begin so I've already created uh, the repository and I'm going to share you the links of that as well uh, although in previous video I've already shared the link but uh, I've created new Eureka service so you have to simply follow these steps click here and we are going to navigate to the uh, start.spring.io so uh, from here we are going to build our uh, new uh, sample uh, Eureka client so call this let's say um, cn cnn dot cloud weeks dot c so it is just the sample application I want to show you that uh, that this is the demo we are going to um, set up so you can say that Eureka client in Docker so uh, this is done now I'm going to add the dependencies from here you can uh, click web also add one more dependency simply type the uh, client so uh, Eureka discovery client okay so I'm going to generate a zip uh, I've downloaded it so I've uh, extracted here and put it in the whole section so now I'm going to edit this uh, with my editor you can select editor of your choice so i'm going to uh, open this folder uh, in my editor select folder so now uh, these are the source uh, these are the directories uh, which we are going to manipulate okay so in application properties and application and or java so all the stuff i've made available for you guys you have to just copy paste it and let me just uh, remove this stuff okay so uh, what you have to do uh, in application dot java you have to simply uh, copy paste this um, lines or annotations you can say and I'm going to just remove it and paste it here so uh, as far as these three concern I want to just move these to this here okay I'm going to save it so to make this uh, application uh, discoverable with Eureka server you should have at least these annotation in your uh, application.java file and in application.properties and uh, you should put this and as far as the server port uh, means that uh, on which uh, port this uh, client is going to be running so i've selected port 8080 and i've selected uh, this 
URL, but uh, this is this URL is not going to work uh, for this video. Later on, I'm going to show you the high availability with Eureka server and our discovery client is are going to be on separate uh, servers or EC2 instance and I'm going to show you how you can uh, quickly discover those client in AWS environment for this demo I'm going to show you that how we are going to uh, simply you know give this guy a name of our Eureka server so uh, this is very important as far as the discovery so um, I given this name Eureka server 8761 why I'm giving this uh, Eureka server 871 how it is going to discover uh, the Eureka server because I've created a one network let me show you that this is the custom network so if you create a custom network uh, in dockerized environment and uh, if it is uh, living on that particular host it is able to you know able to discover the dns which is the built-in feature of the docker so uh, that's why i've chosen the name and it is uh, highly recommended that you should use the dns name uh, because at the back end if the ip is rotated so you don't have to manually uh, change the ip address so and it is going to be a uh, real headache so uh, definitely i'm going to i did uh, this stuff here uh, it is going to be c you know just for the demo okay so now what I'm going to do is to make a zip of it. Okay. Now, as I shown you guys that um, this is the free environment. You can do testing and do all the stuff. So what I'm going to do is to simply SSH into this. In fact, uh, rather than doing SSH, what I'm going to do uh, is to simply uh, put this guy zip on this particular uh, instance. So SCP is a secure copy and I'm going to select uh, okay. First of all, I should navigate to desktop. It is going to be uh, much more easier, you know. SCP is PVC dot zip. So I'm going to put it on the home. So what it is going to do, it is going to put that on this uh, route. So if I dwell as you see I'm able to see the zip and simply extract it now uh, what we are going to do is to follow our uh, steps um, so we have uh, done the first step and now uh, we are on the second step so simply copy this and navigate to your instance by the way, it is all free. You can uh, use the play with uh, Docker. Uh, it is going to be, uh, oh, I've done ppc.ca service, okay. So just remove this stuff. I have to make this one edit. Uh, it is really important that you name your service uh, in a correct manner so I'm going to simply save it and I'm going to make a zip of it again because uh, if you want to see the service name it is going to be a you know mess that you should not be able to see your service there 
So I've simply added this uh, BBC dot cloud geeks dot ca. So if I do ls, I'm gonna simply unzip it again. So uh, what I'm going to do is to simply made one change here and I'm going why I'm doing the second step in the second step uh, I'm going to create the jar file and we are going to use the official image uh, here let me show you that uh, of a maven maven clean package uh, is the command so what I'm doing here I'm actually creating a jar file instead of using my own compute power I'm using the docker um, uh, play with docker and using their compute power along with that uh, I'm using the pre-built maven so I highly recommend you to you know uh, do the stuff which is already provided by the uh, companies and use those uh, like uh, pre-built images which is which are the official ones so uh, once uh, this is done uh, we are going to uh, create one docker file uh, let it run and I'm going to uh, create a docker file and in that docker file uh, I'm going to put that particular JR file so you can uh, simply follow these steps. So if I do ls here, um, my jar file is located here because the build is successful. Let me show you that uh, ABC uh, target and this is the jar file. You see, this is jar file. So uh, what I'm going to do is to simply make one directory Docker okay um, make one directory with parent docker and inside that uh, i want to create a target so if i uh, do ls you see uh, docker is there and inside one directory is there so uh, i'm going to cd into the docker i'm going to create a docker file and i'm going to paste this uh, docker uh, while I'm going to use the open JDK uh, Java development kit in the latest official docker image so uh, here I'm going to simply uh, I mean uh, move this uh, okay simply substitute uh, the PTV sports with the PVC and uh, do it globally let's see so everything is done correctly so uh, what i'm going to do is to simply just you know copy this copy this and save it so you know, i'm going to copy the stuff from root bbc uh, slash target uh, in, in BBC, the snapshot jar, we just name, rename it to uh, and put it in the docker target and rename it to this bbc.cloudgeeks.ca.jar uh, file. So uh, I'm going to build okay or I'm going to build and let's tag it uh, with, um, with the same name that would be okay as well hopefully the command I'm typing is uh, correct Oops. so instead of tag I'm going to call this minus t so if I do docker images and I'm going to <clears throat> now uh, our docker uh, client image is 
uh, available i mean we have dockerized our client to register with eureka and if i follow the step uh, which i need to do to i mean it is i'm going to simply run this and copy paste it but you have to simply just uh, do some change here uh, it is saying that pdb sports is already available uh, now i'm going to uh, call this bbc and just simply run it so if i do docker ps hyphen a we have three uh, containers up and running and our eureka server has currently pdb sports.cloudgeeks.ca so if i refresh it uh, in a few moments our if our uh, service is up and running it is going to register with our server <coughs> so <clears throat> let me also check if everything is working fine as well so i want to see the logs of this uh, okay uh, this one logs I can have uh, <clears throat> currently we are unable to see any service I have to check that as well okay uh, Okay, guys, I've seen the mistake. I've done uh, one more mistake here uh, in copy paste that uh, I should be given uh, this guy a name of our build image, which we have already done. And uh, this image, it should be the one which we have created. So uh, we have created the image with this name. So I should be providing uh, this Eureka client uh, this uh, image so uh, let me show you the docker images so uh, what we have built okay we have given this name a char as well so uh, you can definitely give your name according to your uh, requirements so if I do docker ps name so it is now available and if I do docker logs f and I'm going to give this uh, container name so uh, it is going to start uh, the application let's try to uh, refresh it you see our service is now available so uh, this is the stuff that is how you can build your uh, Eureka client in Docker or Dockerize your Eureka client. So uh, this is how you can easily register your services with uh, Eureka and you can push uh, these images to your um, uh, to your repositories whether uh, it is going to be public repository or uh, a private repository. So that is it guys. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe my channel and share this video as much as you can. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.